Watch you guys, got another video here for you. This one's been requested by one of my forum members. It wants to know how to rectify some of the registry issues that you may have once malware's attacked your system. Well, as you can see here, we've got a black screen. Uh, it's hidden the, the wallpaper on the yeah, desktop there. We can't right click or anything on there, it won't work. Also, if I right click on the task manager here, you won't see no task manager. Also, if I come down to the run box here and type reg edit, and try to enter the registry you'll find that it's been disabled and the reason why that is is because it's common for these types of uh, malware or rogues to do this type of stuff also command prompt and things like that have been disabled um, by the administrator and it's because it's creating policies uh, registry key policies in there to, to block that for you and I'm going to show you how to get around this as you can see we've got no control panel uh, we can't get to the control panel also, if I go up to organize to try and show hidden files and folders, that's also been disabled. And uh, I'm going to show you a way around it. Okay, so what I want to do first is try and fix this registry so we can uh, have some options. So I'm going to open up Notepad here. And uh, I'm going to put in this piece of code. Now this code is just basically going to fix uh, our registry. It's going to take these keys out, which is done by the administrator. Uh, if they're in there, that's the location they will be in, in their policies. And uh, what we're going to do is quickly save this. And I'll give you a link to download this piece of code anyway. So what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to put this into my documents. And I'm going to save this as regfix. VBS click save and close that off now now once we go to my documents we should see a regfix file in there so when we run this what it's going to do is hopefully fix our registry problem okay so it's saying we should have access to the registry okay we should have a registry now so I'm going to go to reg edit now and open up the registry and there you can see we have the registry and we can actually do fixes from here okay so what we're going to do is boot up to remote registry now I've created my own live CD you'd have to create yours obviously but if you're a technician it's also a very good tool to use so I'm going to reboot the system into my live CD so what we're going to do is restart the system okay so this is my live CD now remote registry uh, is a real useful tool as I said um, what it does is it allows you allows you to access the registry of that machine whilst you're in a live environment which is very useful it saves you going through the load hive and all that sort of stuff you can actually do it through one of these CDs so I'm going to go down to my win 7 PE disk now obviously if you want to create one of these you can do so okay we'll let this load in it does take a bit of time okay so once I get to this stage I just want to click OK here and this will load up my live CD now again this is written really for uh, sort of technicians really this sort of video um, home users really won't probably have much use for this CD um, but for a technician you will probably use this quite a lot okay now that's all loaded in as you can see we've got our live CD um, so we're actually uh, booted up into a live environment and as you can see here what we're going to do is go into a remote registry program and uh, this is my remote registry program I'm going to log into this I'm going to fire this up and this will give me access uh, to the actual registry so remote registry means we'll be able to access the the machines registry um, so now I can actually make changes to the registry on my machine without booting it up 
And this is another good way of fixing uh, registry issues that you may have from malware without actually booting the system up. So we're going to go into uh, HKEY current user here then software. Just make a bit more space here. And then we want to go into Microsoft here. And then we're going to come down to Windows. And then current version. And then we want to look for policies. Which is here. And inside policies you'll have some folders which have probably been created by uh, the malware. And as you can see we've got some uh, disabled features inside system policies and system and as you can see wallpaper so I could actually delete this no run bar uh, no desktop no control panel uh, disable task manager and also disable registry as you can see there and each of these have got uh, the key of one which means disabled and this is common for for these types of uh, malware what they do so we can highlight these and I'm just going to delete these now I could change them and put them zero but they're not meant to be there anyway inside here um, I'm going to see what here no properties in my computer no folder options no desktop no control panel so again we'll just uh, delete these these keys and this is a common area where they sort of uh, put their keys another one that you want to look out for is in the other area which is um, local machine okay so another one again is um, also you want to check uh, software and policies here and what we want to look for is Windows there and inside here you will see some other folders that's been created and you can see disable CMD which is command prompt so I can delete this okay so that's now done and that was under H key current user now also another area will be under H key local machine and it will be the same sort of area software Microsoft and you want to come down to Windows current uh, current version and then you want to look inside here for policies or anything like that just to make sure that they haven't got anything inside here that's been disabled and you'll see there's there may be keys inside here as well that you need to check and there'll be other areas to check as well but as, what we're going to do is reboot the system now and see if we've got a lot of uh, the system back let's reboot okay as you can see pretty much uh, the system is now back up to normal and just those few registry keys there have made all the difference and uh, as you can see we should have full control of our system again reg edit again we're up back up and running task manager and so on should have full control of the system and everything back to normal there you go Okay, so I hope this has been some use for you. My name is Brian from Brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support. Also rate and favourite my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys. Bye for now.